What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I haven't had to come live about bad news like this in, in quite some time. Not regarding this. Um, if you guys don't know, I myself was in a band back in high school called Life and Sickness. Uh, we were really good, actually. We had, like, a bunch of people liking our stuff. You know, they would see our shows that we would do locally, like, at the school when we were, you know, during events and shit. Well, sad as it is to say, I just found out today that the second lead vocalist Wait, the second lead vocalist for our band, Lace and Sickness, has unfortunately passed away. <clears throat> he passed away earlier today due to a mixture of drugs. Um, it was actually meth and heroin combined, unfortunately. Um, you know, he was an amazing kid. He had a really good voice. Like, we would always be jamming out. We were always recording. We actually had a record deal coming up right out of high school. But right out, literally right out of high school is when he fell into drugs. And sad, and that's ultimately around the time when the band split. Um, our drummer did get into drugs for a while, but then he kind of fell out of the drug thing and then moved out of state with his parents, mostly his dad. And then everybody else just kind of followed suit in our lead vocalist footsteps. Like the rest of them kind of fell into drugs. And like I said, most of them are either in prison or six feet under probably. I don't know. But this is the first I've ever heard of one of my ex-bandmates, you know, passing away like this. You know, and I know I should be sad and upset. But how can I be when in the end, he was just a druggie in the long run. That's what he became. And my condolences do go out to, you know, his family, though. Um, you know, you guys have my full on, res you guys have both my respect and my condolences. Um, as you know, I know you guys, you guys are you know, really good friends to me, always have been, and I do apologize for what your son has done. You know, and there's just nothing really else I can say except that I'm sorry that he died the way he did. And, you know, and I hope that You know, you guys know that he was an amazing vocalist. He was one of the best I'd ever seen in my entire life. Literally, like, he was one of the best. And, you know, and it's, it's unfortunate that he fell into drugs. Because he was a good kid. Um, you know, he did ROTC in high school. Straight A, well, almost straight A student. But he had his whole career ahead of him and fell into drugs, and it's sad. He was a good kid, a very good kid. So I'm sorry, guys, but. Uh, Because we were talking about getting the band back together eventually at some point once we're in Queen. Um, our drummer was talking about moving back and back down. And as soon as the others got well and better, they were going to jump back in. But I'm sad to say that the band Laced in Sickness from 2009 to 2010 will not be getting back together anymore. 
due to not only the passing of our second league vocalist, but also due to everybody else needing rehab and all that crap. So for those of you that did listen to our music back then, you guys can still listen to it for free. Um, it's not an issue. But, you know, for those of you that did support our band, I thank you guys. Um, I am looking for another band. Currently, I'm looking for another spot in a band as a metal vocalist. So not to worry, I'm still doing my thing. But uh, with that being said, I do apologize to my bandmates' family. You know, your son was a good kid, and, you know, I hope that you know that. Deep down, he was a good kid. They got caught in a bad situation, and I'm sorry for that. And I hope that you guys do find some kind of relief down the road. But that being said, I'm sorry to have announced this, guys. I know it sucks. It's a Friday. It's not the kind of news you want to hear on a Friday, but I'm just being realistic. You know, I didn't want this kind of bad news either. I mean, I knew it was only a matter of time before he had passed, but it was just a matter of when. It was really just a matter of when and how he passed. And unfortunately, it was due to an overdose of heroin and meth combined. And it's sad. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. And again, to my bandmates' family, you have my fullest and utmost respect and condolences. And you guys know that if you ever need anything, I'm always here. I'm just a mess. I'm just a message away. Um, you guys can call me. You guys have my number. And yeah. I hope that things get better for you guys. And again, I am truly, truly sorry. And, you know, and I hope things get better.